Well, we are back in the kitchen with Elizabeth Hall for Food City Friday, and we just talked about Brussels sprouts, and now we're going to another fall favorite, spaghetti squash. Yes, so spaghetti squash is a winter squash, so like pumpkin or acorn squash. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be in that starch section of your plate. So it's not a in the, vegetable. It's not a vegetable. It is a vegetable, right? But and it does have a little bit less starch mm -hmm. than some of our breads and pastas and right. things. Um, but this is what it looks like when you see it in the mm -hmm. store. So you want to choose. And they ones. come in huge sizes, yes. like we're seeing. This right was here. a small one. I thought it was yes. cute, so that's why I got it. But <laughs> um, you want to choose ones that are heavy for size, and they should have that dull color. So okay. that's how you know. Um, these are great, high in vitamin A, which is important to keep your tissues healthy. Mm -hmm. So we want that this time of year, especially with flu season and right. everything going on. It's also called spaghetti squash because when you bake it, when you roast it in the oven, you can actually scrape it out with a fork, and it kind of looks like spaghetti. Yeah, it's um, so this, stringy. It's stringy. Yes. Yeah. So I have what it looks like up here in the front. Um, so it's actually actually a gluten-free option for mm -hmm. people who want to have pasta but maybe have celiac disease and have to avoid gluten, right. um, which is the type of protein found in wheat. Um, and so this can be a great alternative for them. So I made lots of different recipes <laughs> here for you to see. Um, these were really cute, a great, great make-ahead option yeah. too. They're little muffin cups and actually the bottom is all made out of spaghetti squash. Wow. And then There's I made meatball? meatballs in the middle. Um, so you drizzle a little bit of egg whites on top and that kind of keeps everything together. Wow. But that's a great make-ahead option yes. for lunches or dinners and then what we're gonna make today is this actually the lasagna Perfect. stuffed spaghetti squash and so you already roasted this yes I roasted this so I just cut it in half stuck them upside down in a baking tin about 400 degrees um, for about 45 to, okay. to an hour Perfect. so I've already started scraping this out you want to leave a little bit of a, of a little border around okay. there if you can so I'm gonna scoop this out and put it in my big bowl Perfect. and then I've also sauteed some lean ground beef and onion and garlic. So I've already done that, and that's right here. So I'm going to add that into my spaghetti squash. And then, just real quick, because we're running out of time, what else are you going to put in there? And then we'll finish it up when we come back. Yes, so I have some ricotta and then some parsley that we're going to layer with this mixture. Ooh. And we'll show you what it looks like when we come back. Yum, can't wait. All right, thank you yes. so much, Elizabeth. Make sure you visit foodcity.com for this recipe and more.